It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Man, your faith, you're outstanding in your faith, you're preaching, you're teaching, your revelation knowledge, you're outstanding. And then he says what? See that you abound in this grace also, which means you will not abound in this grace accidentally. You have to see to it, and he wouldn't tell you to see to it if it was not important to God and important to the work of God that you see to it, that you access and abound in this grace. What grace is he talking about? We call it the grace of giving, talking about money, but really it's not just the grace of giving. It's the grace of giving and receiving. It's the grace of sowing and reaping, and if it's grace... I said, if it's grace, then apparently God's got something to do with this grace. Amen. 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 It's not just you work hard and get more jobs. It's just that the grace of God, the favor of God, and the blessing of God will come upon your house, your family, your business, your job, every area of your life, and you'll say, look what the Lord has done, and now I can abound in this grace. I always wanted to give $1,000. I always wanted to give $10,000. I always wanted to give 100000 Now look what the grace of God has done. I'm able to give. Hey, come on now, the grace. Yeah. Amazing grace. Come on, we love to talk about grace because it's amazing in every area. I said in every area. And he says, and in this grace, see that you abound in it. Get good at it. Be known for it. Come to the front in it. See, in other words, people say, well, that's not all that important. It is massively important in the scriptures following Jesus and the apostle Paul and the revelation from the, listen, I'm amazed at people who talk about Paul's revelation and when it comes time to give, they don't do squat. Let's try this side over here. I said, I'm amazed at people who want to talk about Paul's revelation and they don't do squat when it comes to give. If you cannot show up in the giving department, all right, let's keep going over here. I said, if you cannot show up in the giving department, we might not want to hear your utterance. Wow, y'all still here? Amazing grace. So the Lord said to me, when you access this grace, you will look at your checkbook and go, amazing grace. We never thought our checkbook would ever hit that point. Come on, or my bank account would ever hit that point. But amazing grace, look what the Lord has done. Boy, y'all ought to get happy already, praise the Lord. So he says this. Uh, this is the uh, Passion Translation. He says, you do well, you excel in every respect in your unstoppable faith. In your powerful preaching, in revelation knowledge, your passionate devotion, your great love. Now we want you to show up for the offering. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. Uh, isn't that what he's saying? He says, you're, you're amazing in so many facets. We love your broke little self. Come on, but I'm going to teach you how to access the grace of God that will affect your money, your finances, your business, and your job. The grace of God. How do you access that grace? How many of y'all like to hit it a couple times in your life? Come on, so that, so that it actually moves from the struggle. Come on. No longer just a struggle. Come on now. Every, every Monday, waiting on the call. You know, what's it going to be from the secretary? Oh, my God. <laughs> to, to where there's a flow of grace upon your life and your ministry, and God actually sends people to your church for the purpose of giving you money because of the gospel that you preach. 
How many are ready for God to send people to your church that came just to give you money? Come on, to cause your church and your ministry to be abundantly blessed. Come on, right now I believe God is sending people to your church, to your life that will come just to bring money so you can do what he's called you to do. Amen. Somebody better get happy about giving and sowing and reaping and abounding, abounding in this grace. I abound in this grace. Everybody shout, I abound in this grace. See to it. All right, sit back down. I'm going to give you how to abound in this grace. See to it. So it must be important, significant to God and to the work of God. But it's also significant to you because the devil will try to put a lid on you. Listen, I, once you put the lid on me, that means I'm never going to get beyond this. Now you put that lid on me. And I'm going to bust that sucker, you understand? Amen. I'm going to ask the Holy Ghost how to bust that lid off me. I mean, believe God could give you wisdom. I mean, Pastor Matt, God will show you how to break that lid or that limit. All right, let's try it again. How many want to break that limit financially on your life? Amen. Not only so you can live well, but so you can give the way you always wanted to give. You say, I always wanted to give. Come on, I always wanted to be able to give like that. Yeah. Well, y'all praise the Lord for a minute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, don't y'all have any kind of life? I'd sure like to break that limit. Come on, in my life, I'd like to break that limit. Come on, not only in what I'm receiving, but in how I'm giving and how I'm sowing. I'd like to break that limit. Every time the devil challenges you and says, you can't give no more than that, I say, I will break that limit in the name of Jesus. Oh, well, we better, we better move on here. Hallelujah. I mean, like to break that limit and let the grace of God come upon your church, your ministry, your finances, so that you will give more than you have ever given, but you will still have more than you have ever had. Well, I feel like slapping somebody in the morning time. Amen. Amen. The, the anointing. Hallelujah. Dad Hagen said, I've been just as anointed in receiving an offering for the ministry as I was ever anointed in a healing meeting. When I heard him say that, I was like, there must be an anointing. All right, let's try this out. I said, there must be an anointing that can come upon your church and your ministry Come on, that when it comes time to receive the offering for the preaching of the gospel of Christ in your community and around the world, there must be an anointing there that can break every yoke, everything that has limited you. There must be an anointing there so that poor people can come out of poverty. Come on, come out of debt. Come on, come out into abundance. Come out, come on, bless, bless. Come on. Amen. I would preach the same message in East Africa and West Africa, the poorest people in the world, come on, the Philippines, and also in Vietnam, poorest people in the world. I preach the same message. And the anointing comes to break the poverty, the mindset off of them, and go right into the next verse. It says that you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he became poor, that you through his poverty might be made rich, rich, abundantly provided for. The blessing of the Lord makes you rich and has no sorrow with it. So you quit talking, Paul, thinking, Paul, 
and give and pull. <laughs> you start stretching, amen, to break certain limits, amen? So how do you break that? Number one is you have to believe that this grace is a part of the gospel. <laughs> and you will be criticized just for this. Listen, if you ain't getting criticized about nothing, come on, you ain't doing much. You'll be criticized just for this facet. Mm. But he said, houses and lands with persecution. <laughs> hey, amen, come on. So when you start flying a jet, Y'all still here? Expect it to hit somewhere because the devil going to see to it because every time you prosper, oh, come on, God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Every time you prosper, you are the source of the increase of the gospel in that church, in that generation. We will attack you. Come on, when you get a bigger building, you start building, come on, he's going to attack you. You can count on it. Because the devil claims the earth is his. The money is his. Come on, the jets are his. But I'm here to tell you, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Come on, the jets, come on, the cars, the transportation, it is the Lord. Come on, and you tell the devil, take your hands off my money, my land, my building. In the name of Jesus. Woo, we are well able to possess the land. All right, sit down. I'm about finished. Ha, ha, ha. Now, amen. So you don't want to be mean. But one time I told the church people, I said, you know, we kind of got stuck here. So please forgive me for my boldness. I'm not trying to be arrogant, but I do have a severe case of boldness. And I said, and furthermore, I'm not just talking to you. So if you get offended because you think I'm talking to you, let me tell you something. I'm talking to everything that's thinking through your brain. Every devil, every demon, come on, every religious past is kind of working on your brain, every reasoning, every thought, every imagination. I'm not just talking to you. I want to let the devil know that we will never lack and we are not afraid and we are givers and we are sowers and we will access the grace, the grace of God in this area. Come on. Praise the Lord. So we built this auditorium. The rich guy, the biggest giver, right before he left, he had to take one more shot. And he said, uh, your arrogance is building that building too big. Me. I said, you talking to me? <laughs> well, I realized it wasn't just him talking to me. Let's try that. Come on, even, even Jesus told Peter, one of his best disciples, get behind me, Satan. I, I know where we're going. I know. <laughs> Be surprised who the devil may use to talk to you. So he said, oh, you need to make that building smaller. I said, let me tell you something, sir. Excuse me. Because you said that we are adding 75 feet to the end of that building. Come on, that 75 feet over there came because a smart aleck attacked me and said I was building it too big. I said, you lying devil, you trying to stop me? Come on, you ain't going to stop me, come on. <laughs> hey, you may need to add 75 feet to your vision, hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> uh -huh. All right, first of all, 
It's a part of our redemption, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. But all the parts of our redemption are not accessed unless there's teaching. That's right. That's right. Amen. And so next, verse 9, chapter 9, I'll finish that later, but he said, talks about your sowing. So that's pretty important, isn't it? Sowing generously. So we went to Brother Copeland's uh, uh, tele telethon. They don't want to call it Victory Thon. For that station, it cost them a million dollars a month. And he put us on there free years ago. So what a man of faith. I mean, what a great step just to give it free, free time. Amazing. And he's uh, 85, I guess, 86, and, and um, coming up 87. And at 87, he's still taking those steps that would stretch you. When, oh, let's try this out over here. I said, when, when are you going to start taking some steps that will stretch you and bend you out of shape and let you know there is a God? Hallelujah. So, man, stretch and get that satellite to be on 24 hours a day and your biggest dream coming to pass between 80 and 90. Amen. Think about that. Your biggest dream coming to pass between 80 and 90. Some people are ready to quit and give up at 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 looking for a rocking chair. Come on, but the spirit of faith ain't looking for no rocking chair. We ain't looking for no retirement village, baby. We ain't looking for no golf cart, hallelujah. We ain't looking where we can play Frisbee somewhere. Come on, we're looking for another mountain. We're looking for another mountain. Give us another mountain. We're well able to take this next mountain. Hey, that's what we're looking for. So back down, I'll try to finish this. So, so we're, we're partners every month, pretty good partners. So partners every month. So we go to that, so we always bring a special offering. Same with Raymond. We support Raymond, Kenneth Hagen Ministries, and now Pastor Hagen, we support them every month and bring special offerings when they have special events. So Brother Copeland's thing that, uh, so I brought 100,000 because I wanted to give 100,000. So that stretched me a little bit. And the Lord said, how do you like to give 200000 I went, no. I'll take authority over every thought and imagination. Because, <laughs> well, you know, you're giving other places, right? So, so I was sitting on the platform and said, I'm going to give 100000 <laughs> and I thought, I, I know I should give 200000 And right at that time, Pastor Denise Marth, so you sitting over here somewhere last night. Where is she at? She around here somewhere, Pastor Denise. Anyway, from Virginia, there she is. At that time, she texted Darcy and said, I'm sending you $100,000 today. That's a small church, I mean, in, in comparison to most people. And she's, uh, she's been the pastor. Her husband went to be with the Lord. She said, and I would like to, I wanted to give $100,000. So as soon as Darcy sent me the text, I went, Hup, that's my other $100,000. I said, I got $200,000. Come on, if God can get it through you, baby, he can get it to you. <laughs> Come on, he gives seed. He gives seed to the sower. I said he gives seed to the sower. He gives bread to the eater. He multiplies your seed so. Hey. Ha 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 ha. Stretch. Amen. <laughs> Just stretch. Amen. Get a little uncomfortable. There better be a God. Well, I have found out that God is able. Come on, you got your saying. You got your sowing. 
You got wisdom. You got the word. At whatever level that is, to break that limit. All right, let's try one more time. To break, get the lid off. At whatever level that is that you feel like necessary for me to do something to let the devil know you will not keep me stuck. Go ahead and laugh for a minute. I said, ha, 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 ha. There is no limit to what God is able to do in his grace. Go ahead and just laugh for a minute and say, ah. God is able to make what? All grace abound. How many like to see God's ability? Come on, not just, you know, our skill and, you know, I, I did this. No. God is able. Yes. Praise God. Come on, I see Pastor Roddy sitting right there. He bought that building, you know, in Florida. I said, You got to buy that building, you got to buy it right away. And he finally got it, yeah, million dollars. Then he called me up and said, I'm behind on my payments. I said, well, let's catch up. And so, so uh, you know, caught up, and, and then the hospital right next door called over and said, uh, I'll give you $6 million for that building. He said, you can have it. Bring the check, baby. So, so he, come on, he went from barely making payments to $5 million in the bank, I'm telling you. Uh, come on, God can turn your situation around so fast. <laughs> You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Galatians 6.10 says, As we therefore have opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto those that are of the household of faith. The good news is anyone can participate in God's generosity plan. We have to look for the opportunities he gives us to sow our seed. The generosity of a believer affects how they receive the word. When you give, it not only reflects your heart, it also affects your heart. In his book, How to Receive God's Extravagant Generosity, Mark Hankins shares how your spiritual breakthrough may be just as connected to your giving as well as your praying. God will do things for you that money can't do when you're a generous giver. As a bonus, you'll also receive the four CD set, How to Receive God's Extravagant Generosity. This teaching will help you understand how God wants everyone to reap the benefits of his plan for generosity. In this four CD set, Pastor Mark shares four powerful teachings. God's extravagant generosity, a whopper of a harvest, extreme giving, abundant living, and generosity the way to increase. Discover how with God, over and above giving will produce over and above living. Get the book and CD set today. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers worldwide. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and become strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. You will receive the book and the four CD set, How to Receive God's Extravagant Generosity for your gift of any amount. You also can download these messages as MP3s in our app for free. For more information, please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Trust you enjoyed the program today. Of course, one of my favorite subjects in the Bible is simply generosity, or we also call it supernatural increase. Because sometimes people think, well, the Bible's just talking about people giving, but really, the Lord said, I'm really talking about your receiving. Because he talks about sowing, and he says, and your generous sowing 
will produce a generous harvest. Well, I was sure interested in that generous harvest. And so I began to study on generosity and giving and supernatural increase. And wow, the things that opened up from the word of God on the possibilities and the promises and even the word that God said that the generous soul shall be abundantly blessed. So I began to study generosity because a lot of times people think they're generous till they run and somebody's generous. Or you could say it this way, God's the most generous or the biggest giver. And actually the Lord said to me, he said, if you'll get addicted to giving, I'll support your habit. Or your sowing will outperform your saving. Or the Lord said to me, uh, I'll do things for you money could never do. There's something about generosity that just opens up the heart of God. God loves a generous, cheerful, happy giver. And there's something about that giving and sowing that God said, I'll multiply your seeds on. And most people are thinking subtraction and God's thinking and multiplication. So I encourage you to get this book. I'm telling you, it may, it may look a little bit funny at the beginning, God's extravagant generosity, but I'm telling you, there's something about it. I love the Proverbs 11, 24, the message Bible says, the world of the generous gets larger and larger and the world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. And you get this, it'll tell you how to break certain barriers in your giving and your receiving and how to receive God's best blessing because there is no shortage to God's giving. Come on, sometimes we limit him and we're not able to receive what he has for us. And the Lord told me that one time and how to open up to receive. So if you'll just simply get this book and we'll go through, it'll teach you how to give, how to sow in expectation, how to get happy about your giving and how to see a harvest, a whopper of a harvest come in so that you'll be a testimony of the grace of God, that God will make all grace abound towards you. Wow, what a promise that God will make all grace abound toward you. You have all sufficiency in all things abound to every good work. Look at this, God's extravagant generosity. So I encourage you to get the book. It'll teach you how to go up to a whole new level of receiving from God and also get the CDs or you can download them online. And I encourage you as you do this, your faith for finances, and you'll see supernatural increase, not through some sort of a gimmick, but simply feeding on the Word of God. So I encourage you to get this, and all week long we're talking about God's extravagant generosity. May God richly bless you. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. 